Hello students, we always go on exciting picnic tours. Let us undertake another picnic tour and understand what a distance time graph is. Your school has organized a picnic at a place 60 kilometers away from the school and has arranged the school bus for this purpose. The children are very excited and want the bus driver to take them fast to the picnic spot and are curious to know how fast will the bus take them to their destination. Two students, Rakesh and Mohan, come up with an idea. They notice the odometer located near the steering wheel and they know that it measures the distance so they decide to note down the distance after every 20 minutes. They look closely at the odometer and this is how it looks like. The odometer already has some reading. This reading shows how much distance the bus travelled up to now. We need not worry about this large number shown here. Just pay attention to the last two digits of the odometer. The first reading is noted when the bus begins to move. So the time is noted as 0 minutes and the distance as 0 kilometers. The second reading is noted 20 minutes later. Now for the second reading, look carefully at the last two digits on the odometer. What do you see? Is it not 10 kilometers? Yes, it is 10 kilometers. Let's fill in the distance as 10 kilometers. For the third reading, look at the odometer after another 20 minutes. What reading do you see on the odometer? Is it not showing 20 kilometers? Yes, it is showing 20 kilometers. Let's write this value in the table. The final reading is taken after another 20 minutes, which is 60 minutes from the start. Look carefully at the odometer again. What reading does it show? Does it not show 30 kilometers? Yes, it shows 30 kilometers. Let's write 30 kilometers in the table. Hooray! We have finished noting down the values. But there's a problem. Rakesh and Mohan don't know how to use this information to find out the speed of the bus, so they take help of their teacher. The teacher asks them to use a graph paper and mark time on the horizontal axis and the distance on the vertical axis. Before we begin to use the graph paper, let us understand that the graph paper is made of equal squares each of side 1 cm. The next thing when using a graph paper is the scale. We have to choose a suitable scale for the time and the distance. The scale can be chosen in several ways. We choose the scale for x-axis in such a way that the minimum and the maximum values of time are represented in the graph and the whole graph paper is used. The minimum and the maximum values of time are 0 minutes and 60 minutes. For the scale we can choose 1 cm equal to 10 minutes or we can take 1 cm equal to 20 minutes. Let's choose the scale as 1 cm is equal to 20 minutes for the x-axis. The next thing is to choose the scale for the y-axis. 
we choose the scale in such a way that the minimum and the maximum values of distance are represented in the graph and the whole graph paper is used. The minimum and the maximum values of distance are 0 kilometers and 30 kilometers. We can choose the scale as 1 centimeter is equals to 10 kilometers or we can choose 1 centimeter is equals to 20 kilometers. Let's choose the scale for the y-axis as 1 centimeter is equals to 10 kilometers. Let's write the scales on the top right corner of the graph paper and draw the x-axis. This is how we draw the x-axis. Let us draw the y-axis. This is how we draw the y-axis. We are ready to plot the points now. The first point is plotted corresponding to the first set of readings which is 0 minutes on the x-axis and 0 kilometers on the y-axis. The second point is plotted corresponding to the second set of readings which is 20 minutes on the x-axis and 10 kilometers on the y-axis. The third point is plotted corresponding to the third set of readings which is 40 minutes on the x-axis and 20 kilometers on the y-axis. The fourth and the final point is plotted by looking at the last set of readings which is 60 minutes on the x-axis and 30 kilometers on the y-axis. Now join the points one by one, the first and the second, the second and the third points, the third and the fourth point and the graph is completed. Now after plotting the graph, the teacher shows Rakesh and Mohan how to calculate the speed of the bus. They learn a new method to calculate the speed by using the distance time graph. Firstly, Rakesh and Mohan find the rise of the graph which is the vertical distance on the y-axis. The rise of the graph is 30 kilometers. Next, they find the run of the graph which is the horizontal distance on the graph from the origin to the 60 minutes mark. So the run is 60 minutes. Now the speed can be found by taking rise over run which, is, which simply means divide rise by run. Writing 30 kilometers in the numerator and 60 minutes in the denominator. The 60 minutes can also be written as 1 hour. So the speed of the bus is 30 kilometers per hour. The speed is also known as the slope of the distance time graph. The children are now happy to know that they have covered more than half of the distance and everyone claps for Rakesh and Mohan because they helped them to find the speed of the bus. If you need support to improve your knowledge in math, physics and chemistry, please visit www.iraedutech.com to register as our student. You can also reach us on support at myschool24x7.com. We provide content which will be easy to understand, quizzes for practice, time-based assignments and game-based quizzes for you to have fun with the subject. Thanks for watching this video.